Neighbors across the south side started drying out today. City crew is headed out to deal with the cleanup. Some communities still are waiting for relief from that heavy rainfall. That's where we find 10 on your side's Matt Gregory. He's in Norfolk, where standing water is still a problem in some places. Right, Matt? Yeah, I'm on Ambler Avenue, which is just off Azalea Garden Road. And unlike most of the neighborhoods we saw today where the water had gone down, you can see even right now through the end of the day, Still have a large amount of standing water down to the other end of the street, making it hard for people to get through. And neighbors who live here say they're not sure when they're going to get some relief or when they're going to dry out. On Ambler Avenue, a week of rain. It started Monday afternoon at 4 o'clock. Has led to a week of ponding. I mean, yesterday morning I couldn't get out. Period. And on the first somewhat dry day, it's hard to find anywhere on the street that isn't soggy. Because this was all standing water, mm -hmm. even it's this it. morning. Lois Hayes is 83, and for 53 of those years, she's lived on Ambler Avenue. This year is the first year I've had water under the house. This is the worst rain flooding she's seen. Wednesday night in the downpour, she rigged together this pump system. I was working two to three hours getting stuff ready because each time I didn't have the right equipment, so I'd uh, duct tape something and then of course it would blow up. Thursday morning it was still going, carrying gallon after gallon out from under the house. A spokesperson for the city of Norfolk says Wednesday crews dealt with the main roads flooding. Today the debris and rain clearing would focus on neighborhoods. Across the city most communities we saw had small ponding issues. The biggest complaint we saw came from manholes spraying back water onto the street. But on Ambler Avenue... It's been gradually going down, but today it's very... It's very it's slowly going down. The memory of the week of heavy rain has left a slow moving mark. I also called representatives from Portsmouth and Chesapeake to get an idea of what their crews were doing today. It was the same thing. They were all going out into different neighborhoods, working on clearing debris and also clearing those drain areas. In Norfolk, I'm Matt Gregory. Ten on your side.